So buying or renting a house, which one do you think is more economical? Now let's go to the board and do some calculations. We we'll take a building at Atsumo Town House 7. So uh, we we'll take a three bedroom self contained at Atsumo Town House 7. So the first point we we'll have to check is buying. And the second is renting. Now, when you are buying a three bedroom self contained at Achimota Mile 7, the price range is somewhere between 2 million CDs. And 3 million CDs. So, averagely, av and 4 million CDs. So, averagely, you'll be, you'll be doing an outright purchase of a three bedroom self contained at 3 million CDs. At 3 million CDs. If you take that same 3 bedroom, if you are renting that same 3 bedroom at Achimota Mile 7, you, you pay a rent of 5,000 5, CDs to 7,000 CDs. So, averagely, you'll be paying 6,000 CDs. Per month. Per month. So annually or yearly, you'll be paying six times the 12 months. This will give us 72,000 CDs per year. Per year. So let's assume you'll be renting the same building. Let's assume you'll be renting the same building for 50 years. And the landlord decides to increase the rent by 10% every year. We we'll use the formula for the compound interest, which is A is equal to P into bracket 1 plus R to the power N. When R is the number of, is the increase in the rent per year, and N is the number of years, then P is the initial pay payment. P is the initial payment. So here, our initial payment is, and the A is the amount you would have paid after the 50 years. So the P is the 72,000 CDs. Into bracket 1 plus R 10%, which is 0 0.10 to the power N, which is 50. So the amount you would have paid will be so after 50 years. When you do your calculations for well, you realize that you have already paid six million one hundred and ninety one thousand seven hundred and thirty six Ghana CDs. So in fifty years you would have paid this amount six million. 191,736 CDs. So you subtract it from doing an outright purchase right now. You see the amount you get. So when you subtract this from this, you get 3,191,736. So after watching this video, I want you to tell me, will you still rent if you can afford to buy a house outright?